everyone welcome back to my channel this is you again from saizuji kimono for today another hanhaba musubi tutorial for you guys this one it will be about making a otaiko musubi which is normally done with either nagoya or fukurobi but with a hanaba obi now this, this uh, particular musubi is perfect for those um, reversible obis so the ones with a different front and back i have one here so as you can see um, from the way it's folded it has a completely different back than it does on the front, which makes for a quite interesting effect actually. Now, um, before I want to say, I just want to may, uh, point out that this uh, OV will require a little bit of length. So this one in particular is 4 meters, but I'm rather tall, so I kind of need a, um, a wider OV by a wider, a longer OV by default. So if you can get your hands on an OV or use an OV, that is between three and a half and four meters that will be perfect the, uh, the closer to four meters the better actually so um yeah before we get into so I'll, let me show you what you need of course you have your obi here i have my oh, <laughs> obi eater of course the obi mug there oops <laughs> Then you have your standard obiage, the obijime. An extra koshihimo, just tie things in place um, before you can move on to the next step. And a clip. Now it can, can be used uh, pretty much any clip, even close bin or whatever. But you need to um, clip the ends of the obi temporarily together so that they stay the same length. So that's it for the so that's it actually for all the supplies that you'll be needing today this we can be more like pretty much any um, casual occasion or whatever it's yeah, like i said just great for those reverse will be so yeah without further ado um let's get into the tutorial okay so i got my over here First off, you want to make sure that the both of the ends are um, on the same length. Now this one is folded somewhat like that, so it doesn't have a clear uh, middle as some of my other OB do. So I'm having both ends at the same length, and then I simply find the very middle of my OB. So that's here, and that part place directly in front of me there we go <laughs> then I want to wrap the uh, part that goes on the first so for me that's the left it could be either way so just wrap one side just open it because you want both tails to be the exact same length and then you simply wrap the other side so at the end the tail should be around the same length then as always just simply a knot like you would with any obi basically and that was my obi eater falling <laughs> So what I do now is just making sure that both tails are almost the exact same length. And it's saying both are up a little. It's not entirely Oh okay, that's much better. It takes a few tries for you to get both at somewhat the same length. Now, I have like a reversible OB. It, it's entirely your, um, you know, in charge of what kind of OB you want to use, but a reversible one with a different front and back is preferable for these kinds of things. So I'm going to flip over one side. What I'm going to do now is, this is where the clip comes in. 
Again, I want to make sure that both ends are the exact same length. And then you simply clip them together so that they uh, won't shift. The width um, of both panels is, again, entirely up to you. And then what you want to know is find a point of the same length so that you can pull them up like you would with any Otaiko, but that they have both ends are still the same length because that's probably the most important thing with the entire Musubi. Yeah. Then we're simply going to put on the Obi Makura. Now, as you see, I'm not using a Obi clip today. I'm not sure if you are actually able to do that with this um, see, because the the height is shorter and it may end up that the the end of the um, obi clip is sticking underneath uh, the actual obi. So I'm doing it without it for, for once. So I'm just gonna temporarily tie the obi makura tie in place. Ooh. Making sure that's all tight. We'll retie those when we're almost finished, but for now, we just tuck the ends in. That's one part. As always, you. This is how I make my hot take, just making that movement. There's a little bit of tail left, and as you can see, it's almost the length of my index finger, which is the appropriate amount. And why for everyone it will be different. I have fairly long fingers, so mine will be a little bit longer than probably most of yours. You may want to make sure that um, they both align, like the tail part and the actual otaiko part. It's a little bit. Yeah, I guess I don't want to say <laughs> perfectionist, but for me it looks way better if they do than, for example, if they are like that. I don't know. It's just aesthetically it looks far more pleasing if they just line up. I'm going to take my Koshihima and then just temporarily tie it in place before we're going to tie the Obijime. So that's the part there. We're going to move the nuts to the back. So if you want to, you can retie the OB Magnus things. I like to just pull it up a little bit and then tie them. Falling down, so I'm going to put the obi eater in there. So, as you say, I have like two obi eater one in underneath the obi and then one in between. Just that's my preferred choice. If you want to do both, that's fine. If you just want to do one, that's why you put it in. Time for the obiage. Hope you can kind of see. Just put it over, and then what we'll I it. If I'm going too fast for you, don't worry. Just pause the video, and then you can catch up whenever you, uh, when you're finished. I realize that my uh, speed sometimes is a little bit faster for you guys, but 
it's okay, don't worry, just pause the video and continue when you're ready. Okay, it's one side down, just temporarily tucking it in. So I have my Obiaga ready, now I'm going to tie it. And then tucking it in. And then the last one is your Obichime. Again, just threading it through. Make sure that you get both um, layers of the Obi. When I was taking pictures, I didn't. And I ended up having to retie the whole Subi because it just wasn't the way it was supposed to look. Okay. Just tie your Obichime the way you would normally. Want a single, just a single knot like this one, or a double knot? That's entirely up to you. You remove the extra hemo. I always like to just wiggle a little bit, see if anything comes loose. But in this case, it doesn't. Just making sure everything is sitting nice and neat. Yeah. Before you forget, just take off the extra clip on the bottom. I'm usually the one that will forget these kinds of things. And then you're done. That's pretty much how you tie a Otago Musubi using a Hanahaba Obi. So with that, I will let you guys go and I hope to see you next time. Bye.